Hello and welcome my fellow space adventurers, hope you guys are having a fantastic day and you're hyped up for Starfield, it's three days away, I can't wait to get my hands on it and bring you guys a ton of Starfield content, but in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about a theory crafted character build that I have in my head, no spoilers obviously, I won't be talking about anything spoilery, I won't be showing anything spoilery, I will only be talking about the stuff we do know of that has been showed in all of the gameplay footage from Bethesda and the Direct and some of the gameplay stuff over that we got at Gamescon. So don't worry, nothing spoiler here. Also, just be aware down below in the comments, maybe people spoil stuff there, so just be aware of that stuff there. As well as there has recently been a post over on Reddit where someone has made a character build planner calculator and that has the leaked um backgrounds and traits and everything that has been leaked or data mined i'm not sure how they actually came about this so that is also in the description if you want to check it out but totally up to you if you want to check it out i'll only be talking about what i know and what we've all seen so without further ado let's hop into it i want to be a bounty hunter space pirate that's my biggest dream imagine boba fett slash captain jack sparrow like fuse them together and then add coffee as like their main source of fuel for anything they want to do and that's literally what I want to do. That is my character and that's what I want to try and make and probably going to be using pistols or maybe sniper rifles. We'll see how that all goes and how the actual weapons and stuff feel once we get to play with them in game. But I'm definitely going to base around something like that. I also, one little heads up, I will have the character build plan and calculator in my discord with my build once the game is actually live in three days now from now i will link it there in that discord so then it will actually be up and we can actually see if it is true but uh yeah i will have it there so join the discord if you want to see stuff like that and just be a part of the community going forward so let's talk about it bounty hunter obviously will be my background i'll be picking that up straight away no questions asked and you know, when you pick a background they do come with three skills i believe or traits or whatever they want to call them three skills straight away and the three that we will be getting would be boost pack training, piloting, and target control systems. Now they don't tell you really what those do, but I'm assuming from the names they're pretty easy to figure out. Boost pack training obviously is our boost pack, and Pete Hines has mentioned it many times in interviews and stuff. You want to get this straight away. You want to get your boost pack leveled up. You want to like fly around because that's your main mode of transport outside of your ship. So when you are exploring on a planet and everything, you really want to get your boost pack going more boost pack i believe you can level it up and then you can fly longer or you can fly faster maybe it can cool down faster or there's like petrol or fuel or something i'm not sure how it works as well as jump higher heights or something he did mention one part we actually saw a mountain or something and it was like yep i just want to get get up there and then push he like flew up and there he was on top of the mountain further exploring doing whatever he was he said that he feels like iron man so the boost pack is really a good thing to have early on and to level it up as much as you can so obviously I will be leveling that up as well. I believe we get one point in it when we get it because of the back. I'm not sure how that all works. I just know we have it. Let's move on to the second point that we do get is piloting. Again, they have mentioned in a lot of the stuff you direct and stuff to fly some of the bigger, better class ships. I'm not sure how the classing works. If it's like A, B, C, because I do, I know they mentioned something about a C class or a B class. I'm not sure what's actually better. If A is like the best and then C is like the worst, and it goes uh, up or down. I'm not sure how that's all going to work. But you do need to level up your piloting skill. To actually fly these different ships. And maybe it makes you fly them better. So faster and like maneuver better. Stuff like that. That will be all interesting to really deep dive in. And see how that actually does affect everything flying wise. But obviously as a bounty hunter slash space pirate. I will be doing a lot of flying around. Obviously hunt hunting my bounties and avoiding the law or the space police whatever we might have up there so it'll be really good to have that as a trait or a skill i believe and then the last one is target control systems which will be coming with it i'm not sure what this is but i think it is to do with your ship your targeting control system obviously sounds like it has to do with your ship's targeting controls so like shooting and dogfights and stuff obviously again another thing that i will be coming across as a bounty hunter slash space pirate is fighting off other bounty hunters coming after me or maybe people that I'm trying to go kill like bounties or whatever. So this will really help me with dogfighting up in space. And then the three traits that I will be picking, obviously these have all been shown, they just haven't been shown what they do. But from what we can all assume and stuff, I'm going to pick Neon Street Rat because I'm going to pretend that I'm like grown up on the streets of Neon. 
and that's what led me down a path of bounty hunting and being a space pirate. And then I've picked introvert because I don't like traveling with people. I like the silence of space and I'll travel alone. And that's probably going to give you benefits if you travel alone, which is my guess. Something similar to like Fallout when you have Lone Wanderer active and then you don't have any people with you. Gives you more damage and more armor and toughness and everything like that. So that's one I'm going to pick. And then Wanted is the other trait that I'm going to pick. I have no idea what this does or what bonuses it gives, but obviously I'm definitely going to be wanted because I am a space pirate slash bounty hunter. So that all just ties into my character. Really excited to give this a go and try this out and see how it all works. And then obviously I'm going to try and focus on pistol stuff. So whatever pistol skills we do get, I'm going to try and level up my pistol. And then maybe with the sniper rifle, like I said, I first want to try out the guns and stuff in game to see how they feel. And then we'll make the build and complete it all like that. So the full build, this is just my little idea and theory crafting that I have going so far before the game comes out. But then once the game fully comes out, I will like finish it off and chuck in a couple of levels, maybe get it to like 20, 25, depending on how fast the leveling is in the early game. I'll adjust it to that. So it's like an achievable build once the game actually goes live. So definitely join the Discord as well as the channel. If you subscribe and like this video, it helps me out so much and it keeps you up to date on all my Starfield stuff coming to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this one, and I will catch you guys star side. Hoggy saying out. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the